What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Counting Wisdom Podcast. You know, um, I wanted to make another uh, little podcast on suffering. Um, I don't think this one will be too long, but, um, you know, one of the ways that I think we can suffer is just in our mind and in our heart. Um, And, you know, I know when I was younger, um, I think I dealt with this a lot where you know, I had uh, different thoughts about certain situations. Maybe it was a relationship. Maybe it was, um, you know, different circumstances like college or, um, you know, maybe work or money. And so I think that uh, those thoughts really added to my outlook on life, you know, and I think a lot of us can feel trapped without a way out and um, it's we can sometimes get into you know certain ruts in our thinking where it's very hard to sort of you know see the light and you know for me I think when I started to um, you know really have a more of a light moment in my thoughts you know I think it was you know a little bit of acting out on faith as far as my outlook on certain situations Uh, it was a little bit of you know studying the word of God or listening to an audio book on the word of God I think a little bit was also natural things like travel um, you know I went on a road trip, uh, and I think that was really clearing of my mind. Um, And I think also I started to really get involved in church and um, just really align myself with, you know, how I wanted to start living for God. Because I think one of the revelations that I had um, was just how you know, I wasn't really living for God. And so when I started to really at least notice more and more how I think my life was, uh, you know, getting more and more complicated, more, in my mind, worse. You know, I, I remember walking with a friend and, you know, saying like, you know, wow, I think I'm cursed in some way, you know, and, and starting to have like really just negative sort of outlook on life and so you know I've explored this topic on previous um, podcasts um, uh, under maybe the stuff you can find it maybe under the suffering title and so what I realize is that sometimes some things we sort of have to endure until we see an answer Uh, and I think Um, That is one of the hard parts uh, because, you know, sometimes, you know, for example, when you're going to the dentist and, you know, you're getting your teeth cleaned, but it's also sort of uncomfortable and maybe even painful, but yet, you know, you sort of have to just sit there and endure it because you know that, you know, it's going to be helpful to your teeth and to your health. And so um, I don't think every situation uh, calls for sort of not doing anything and just sort of gritting our teeth. Um, You know, I think it just really depends on the circumstance. And so I'm more just talking about in general of, you know, certain changes I had to make uh, you know, whether it was not drinking alcohol, uh, and really working on my alcohol intake. And that was a whole ordeal in of itself, you know, that I think even, you know, back in 2023, it still presented struggles that I, you know, had to, uh, overcome as far as even, certain mindsets that you may have that keep you 
doing certain things that are not necessarily beneficial. Now, you know, I'm not necessarily just strictly talking about alcohol, but it could be, you know, smoking marijuana. It could be, you know, going to the casino, you know, uh, maybe if you're having money struggles, uh, you know, it could be, you know, maybe you're making a lot of bad purchases as far as uh, things that you're doing with your money. Um, maybe there are certain levels of unpacking that you sort of have to do uh, in order to, you know, uh, see more light in your life as far as encountering certain circumstances that, you know, may you may feel as if it's just bringing darkness into your heart and into your life. You know, one interesting thing that Jesus said, he said, make sure the light within you is not darkness. And it was really coming from how the things that we take into our heart, you know, he was saying how, you know, if every part of the inside of you is light, then, you know, your whole body, your whole life will be full of life and light. But if the light within you is darkness, basically he was saying that, you know, it's not going to be good. And so, um, I think one thing that I try to do lately that I've been working on is really trying to guard my heart, uh, as far as certain things that I'm watching or listening to and the influence that, you know, uh, the influence that, you know, comes, uh, from, certain things that we're watching listening to people that we're hanging out with and so um you know i i would say even today you know um it i can sort of have certain thoughts and uh you know uh heart issues as far as different temptations different uh you know things that i feel like you know, I want to worry about, and Jesus said, you know, don't worry, don't worry about tomorrow, and, you know, don't worry about your life, he said, in in total, you know, and he said, look at the birds of the air, you know, they don't toil or spin, but yet their heavenly father feeds them, and so I think sometimes, you know, uh, especially when we look at, you know, maybe other people's lives and what's going on in their life. And we're like, man, you know, this world is so messed up. And we kind of start thinking like, wow, you know, there's problems everywhere. And, you know, our life can feel out of control. And so, you know, I think, you know, sticking close to what Jesus said and that we shouldn't worry about things that we cannot control, you know, and I think definitely there are things and, you know, commandments that we should be keeping, you know, there are things that God is asking us to do, but, you know, I think sometimes, you know, when we are kind of against the wall, as far as you have done everything that you know to do, especially after you have studied the word of God, and yet you can still feel as if you're struggling, you know, or just, you know, dealing with different things. You know, I think that's where the endurance part comes in and in Jesus's message of how we have to endure um, because we've already checked the box that, you know, Hey, Jesus is asking us to maybe not worry, or we've already checked the box of Jesus asking us to forgive someone or show mercy to someone, or, you know, don't judge someone. And we've checked all these boxes. And so, you know, one thing we have to try to do is endure till the end, because, you know, the devil's trying to destroy us, you know, ruin our Christian life, ruin our life in general. And so, um, you know, Uh, I want to explore this topic more, um, and uh, like I said, this is going to be a short podcast, but maybe I'll zoom around to this topic again on suffering, Um, and so uh, thanks so much. 
I think a book, if you're interested, uh, is The Problem of Pain um, by uh, Randy Alcorn. Uh, excuse me, I think, I don't know, uh, I think that was uh, a different author that made uh, The Problem of Pain, but Randy Alcorn also has a book that I haven't fully finished yet, to be honest, but, um, you know, check out some books on suffering, um, and that could be helpful as well. So um, thanks so much, and I will talk to you on the next one. See ya.